can I ask you something? If someone is constantly entering into failed relationships, why take their advice if they are trying to instruct you on how to have a successful relationship? Like they are constantly choosing the wrong men, constantly choosing the wrong woman. They are prideful, conceited, liars, manipulators, cheaters. They are extremely immoral, but yet they are trying to <laughs> instruct you on how to have <laughs> a meaningful, <laughs> successful relationship. How absurd is that? They are extremely depressed. They have pretty much no direction in life but they are trying to lead you down the right path <laughs> somehow <laughs> in their failed, uh, what should I say, reasoning, I guess I can say, but they are trying to get you to the place you should be when they can't really help themselves. Let me ask you this. What do you believe is going to happen if you begin following their advice? Won't you be like another copy of them? Won't you? Won't you begin to fail or have similar or just about the same shortcomings as them. Kevin, that person is my friend and we need to stick together through thick and thin. Even though that person may break up your marriage, even though that person may break up your relationship, you say that this woman is sent by God, you say that this man as in your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend is sent by God, but you are going to let a friend, friend, destroy your relationship. How weird is that? You don't know everyone's intentions, do you? You don't know everything what a person is thinking, do you? I know I don't. So even if you believe this person is your friend, even if you believe that person has your best interests in mind, it could be that friend may be jealous of you. That friend may envy you. That friend may want you to be in the same failure bracket as they. Have you thought about that? If you want relationship advice, I believe the first source you should go to is what? Your immoral friend? Absolutely not. Go to the Bible. Right? If you want to know how to treat your wife, how to treat your husband, you go to the Bible, right? Why are you going to older women who stay in failed relationships or younger women who stay in failed relationships? Why would you go to men who are players 
and have mother issues and stuff like that, why would you go to people like that for advice if they are on the wrong path? Listen now, I don't... God, please help me. Friends are not just friends, huh? I would say friends are like ministers, like ministers of the gospel, in a sense. I believe friends are like pastors. Hmm? I believe when you allow your friend time to talk to you and put their knowledge into your ear, I believe in some way or form they have some type of power over your life. I hope this is making sense. Like if you go to church and let's say you have a problem or whatever, you are in a sense allowing that minister or that pastor some type of power over your life, right? So likewise with that friend, I believe it is in the same way. Friends are not really friends. I believe friends are like I believe they can either help you do the things of God or help you do the things of Satan. Just because you have been friends with someone for 20 years, 30 years, doesn't mean their advice should be acknowledged or followed. Please listen. I was friends with someone and sometimes that person would give me horrible advice. I remember that person told me to do something that I probably would still be regretting now. And this was back in 2006. I probably would be still regretting it now. All advice, please listen, all advice is not to be followed. You don't know everyone's intentions, do you? Some people are devious. Some people are manipulative. Oh, Kevin, my friend, have my best interests in mind. How do you know? How do you really know? I know for myself back in the past, in some way or form, I have either been betrayed by some friends or hurt in some type of way by some so-called friends. Are they really friends? If they act selfishly, are they really friends? Even now, I believe I have people call me friend, even though I know nothing of them, hardly nothing of them. I help you a few times and somehow they call me their friend. Strange. You don't know everyone's intentions. Why are you calling me friend so quickly? What are your intentions? If you want knowledge, if you want wisdom, you go to the Bible. If everyone went by what they think is right, I believe this world would be so much more in chaos. Stop listening to, if this is not bad to say, ignorant people giving you relationship advice. Like, for an example, they may stay depressed, they are unhappy, they continue to be in failed relationships, they may be drug users, alcoholics, or whatever else, but you are trying to stay on the right path to God and hear their evil self come 
trying to instruct you on how to be evil and misguided as they. Everyone is not your friend. I believe God can send people down your path. Hmm? I believe God can send people down your path. And I believe Satan can send people down your path as well. I believe everyone that tries to enter your life is sent by somebody. Whether you know it or not. I don't think nothing in life. I don't think anything in life is a coincidence. It may be coincidental to you, but it is not. Stop listening to ignorant advice. Stop going. I believe the Bible say, and I may be saying this wrong, you will know the tree by its fruit or something like that. You know something by the fruit. So if you're looking at the fruit of the person and you see all types of bad stuff in it, you stay away. If you are weak in Christ, which I am not saying I am so strong in Christ, no. If you are weak in Christ, stay away from anyone that can get you to turn into sin, turn back to sin. Right? Like if you are struggling so much, why would you go around a person that can get you back into your old ways? Huh? Makes no sense, right? They may shame you and say that you are a betrayer because you are not allowing me to get you back into sin. You know, you don't come around anymore. So you are like a backstabber or whatever they may say. Don't fall forward because I believe people that are wrong for you, in a sense, and this may not be true for everyone, but I believe some people that are wrong for you may try to guilt you for not choosing to be around them or following their advice. And if they try that guilt mess, I think that is a red flag. Stay away from them. They are trying to, in a sense, I believe, manipulate you. You know, all that time I used to help you, I was there for you, but now you don't want to talk to me. Yeah, I may give you horrible advice. Yeah, I may send you straight to hell, but because I did all these things for you, you need to allow me to send your behind to hell. That makes no sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.